Hey, 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 what's up everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope you're doing fabulous. I'm doing well, and I am here to do another update hair video for you guys from Ally Express Love and Hair. So please go ahead and like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. It is free 99. And if you missed my last hair reviews, the links are down below. I've been working with Love and Hair, uh, let's see, for a couple of months now. And I have to say, this is some of the best hair that I've had like seriously though this is actually a closure yes from the last time that you guys saw me I said I am going to get a closure and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think last time I got a closure I wasn't really feeling it I didn't really like it and this time I ended up really really liking it it really looks natural when I came home from the salon my dad was like hold up is that is that the top of your hair is that you is that you and I was like, uh-uh, mm -mm, this ain't me, honey. No. And he was like, now that's good. I like that. And I was like, yes, I like it too. This is a 14-inch closure, and this is how long the hair is. I didn't do any cutting or anything. Probably next week I'm going to go back, get it cut. I might get it colored. I, I don't know. I worked out a good, like, heavy-duty workout, and this hair did not mat. This hair didn't shed a lot. I mean, I could brush it after I worked out, and it's good to go. It dries really, really quickly and this is some good hair I just use shampoo and conditioner and I'm good to go it's bouncing it's just giving it to you and I love it I think it's cute now I will admit even though I like this closure when I first had it done it kept bouncing up and some closures do that it's like a huge hump I don't like a huge hump as you can see there is a little bump right here but before it was huge and I was like what in the world I did not like that you see this pin right here you can get it from Walmart Sally's wherever you can get a whole box of them I took the pin and laid it down and I made sure the hair laid down while I was asleep and it works out well so you have to train your hair where you want it to go because I did not like it my stylist she was like girl just make sure you pin it and it'll be fine and I was like okay because I really did not like it but once I pinned it it was good to go so you do have to train your hair where you want it to go. When you have an invisible part, you have like little sprigs of hair. I did not like that. It was like little pieces of flyaway hair. Could not stand that. I think it's the cut that the company does. Please don't do that anymore. Don't like that. We had to cut those little hairs and they're like really annoying. Other than that, I really like the closure. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. Like people like, oh my God, who did that sewing? That's real good. And I'm like, girl, this is, this is a closure. And they're like, oh, so yeah. Whenever you get those type of looks from people, or people say, oh my God, girl, that's that's cute. I like that. That means you had a really good sew-in. That closure is good to go. I do have some questions from you guys from my last hair video. If you guys have any questions, please post them down below. Kimasabi87 says, Miss P, do you give your hair a break between installs, or do you just take one out and put another one back in? Last time I had a sew-in, um, my mom, she took my hair out for me, bless her heart. I, I love her for that. And she did that. She washed my hair and everything. We deep conditioned, gave myself a hot oil treatment. And I let my hair just deep condition for a full day. I went to Walmart. I went to the mall. I had my little beanie on and I was cool. And then after that, we blow dried and I put it in like two strand twists over my whole head. I was looking like buckwheat. But my hair felt so good because it wasn't braided or anything. So it was like a week and a half. But my hair had it gotten so thick so strong and it felt so good to just lay in the bed no weave I love my weave now but it was just great it felt so liberating I loved it left it out for probably a week and a half and then I was like okay where's my hair to somebody that might seem like oh she didn't give herself two or three weeks but I think a week and a half is good destiny Thompson said can you show me how to pin curl sure you can use a small clip, big clip, whatever. Um, I use the extra long bobby pins. That's what I use to pin curl my hair. Because these hurt. Especially if you're using your natural hair and it's like hitting on your scalp, that hurts. If your hair is already curled, what I do, my cousin taught me this. My aunt originally taught me how to pin curl with my natural hair and I, it stayed with me. But my cousin the other day, she has a weave too and she was like, girl, when I pin curl, she just picked up her curl and did it like that. And I was like, shut up up girl like that is so easy so I know y'all probably like duh basically you take the end of the curl and you roll it like so can you see that kind of like a cinnamon bun then you take your bobby pin you pin it 
and you're good to go. I only have it to like shoulder length because my hair is very, very long. But if you want to have it all the way up here, you can if you really want those tight curls. But for me, I had these ringlets just doing it on my shoulder and I was good. Now on this side, I'm left handed and the other night I accidentally pin curled my hair back this way. So I have the Farrah faucet going on over here. But normally you pin your curls in. Pin curling is really, really simple, really easy, and you don't have to do it on just weave. It could be on natural hair, whatever. Alicia says, how much for an install? Girl, it varies. I mean, I've heard people getting installs for $50 all the way up to $500. And whoa, that's really expensive. I mean, they need to give you a brand new scalp, but I'm just saying, I've heard of those prices. For me, it varies depending on what I get, what she does to it. So just make sure whoever you give your money to, they're not jipping you and they know what they do. The last question is from Coco Davis says, what do you recommend for edges? I cannot use gel. Um, that really dries my hair out. Cream of Nature, they have this edge control. Oh my God, it's amazing. I love it. It's kind of gummy, but not so extra and greasy. But you just put it on your edges and they be laying. Now these are my edges right here. I didn't put anything on them today, but around later in the week, I'm gonna need something, okay? But yeah, that's what I use. If you guys have any more questions, post them down below. And please let me know what your spring summer style is gonna be. If you're on Instagram, please put your username down below so that I can follow you and check you guys out but thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and the links to this hair is going to be in the more information tab i'll see you guys in the next video peace love and all that good stuff god bless bye